In the last video I said we'd go over the four parts of a backup. The setup just means you're getting your truck in the best position to back up. The first part of your setup is to look over the entire area where you're going to be backing up. When you get to your delivery location you look for any obstacles like telephone poles, building overhangs, low hanging power lines, parked cars and trucks. And you do this when you first get there because once you pull up for your setup, all you'll be able to see is whatever you can see out of your mirrors. And you'll have some blind spots, so you've got to remember what's back here. If I've got to back into an entrance off of a street, we'll pretend those cones are the entrance. I'll get over to the left and angle out into the street to the right to back in. If there's a lot of traffic, I'll pull over to the curb wait till there's an opening. Of course you got the emergency flashers on. And now when uh, tra there's an opening in traffic, I pull straight past the entrance. the trailer gets to about where the entrance is and start angling out to the right. Most streets you can't really get out at a 45 degree angle. Right at the end of the pull up, turn the tractor a little bit to the left. And that way you can see the back of the trailer plus the curb there where the entrance is. And this is a pretty good setup. This is what I was doing. Backing in from the street, I pull up to the curb, pull straight past the entrance, turn out, then angle the tractor a little bit to the left. That way when you look out your mirror, you can see the entrance and the back of your trailer at the same time. If I was like this, it would be hard to tell where the back end of the trailer was. Now there's some situations where you can use a formula, do it the same way every time. If I'm going along a line of trucks that are backed up to a building or in a parking lot where there's a lot of room out here, I'll do a straight backup. And that's the easiest backup you can do. I'll approach from about 10 or 12 feet from this row. When I get to the point where I can look out the driver's window and see that this entire space is clear, I'll turn the wheel all the way to the right. And that serves two purposes. You make sure that the space is clear and it's a good spot to make your turn. So you pull out, and when you see that the trailer is straight in your mirrors, you're just about set up. All you need to do is some minor corrections back into the space. Of course, if you had a row of trucks out here, like in a small truck stop, there's no way you'll have enough room to do that. In my book, I give a formula you can use to set up for backing into a space when you don't have much room. In the next part of this video, we'll do a setup for a blindside backup. Okay, let's say we got a blindside into an entrance off of the street. I'll pull up to the curb on the right here. The emergency flashers are on. When there's a break in traffic, pull up the street past the entrance. middle of the trailer gets around about even with the entrance. Start angling out to the left. So I got to keep the angle kind of gradual. Towards the end of the pull up, angle the tractor a little bit to the right so you can see what's going on in the back there. Okay, now you can see the back of the trailer and this side of the entrance. Okay, what I was doing then was just the opposite of what we did earlier. I'm on the right-hand curb now. Pull straight past the entrance. Turn out. Towards the end of the pull-up, angle the tractor a little bit to the right. Now when you look out the right-hand mirror, you can see the entrance plus the back of the trailer. When you get a steeper angle, use your motorized mirror to see what's going on back here. 
So just remember you'll be running into all different type situations. You'll need different setups. Generally I like to pull up far enough so that I can see the entrance plus the back of the trailer. That way you get a rough idea of what angle you need to start with. In the next video we'll cover the angles and following the trailer and making corrections.